Most lives are saved long before the actual fire, with the right fire and smoke protection. Our building supplies with life-giving oxygen through ventilation ducting. However, if a fire breaks out, they can transport poisonous smoke and assist the spread of the fire. Fire dampers are designed to prevent this. They must ensure a perfect seal in the ventilation ducting and resist high temperatures. This makes the difference between life and death. TROX has focused its international expertise into an in-house research and development centre, the International Centre Fire Protection, the most modern fire test laboratory in Europe. We follow a fire test here. The test manager enters the International Center Fire Protection with a team of specialists. The team immediately starts installing the temperature sensors in accurately calculated positions. The sensors monitor the temperature in detail during the test. The giant furnace is the heart of the center. With a capacity of 100 cubic meters, it can be used for fire testing complete walls and ceilings and even large tunnel dampers. Now the fire damper is installed in the test frame. A large wall 4 by 5 meters in size and 30 centimeters thick. The team anchors the test frame. The crane, mounted at a height of 10 meters, has a lifting capacity of 12.5 tons, enough to move the heaviest test walls. However, caution is essential. One false movement may be life-threatening. The test frame must now be placed very carefully. The wall is secured by four large pneumatic rods and massive screw joints. It must not come adrift under any circumstances. The extract air establishes the required low pressure in front of the fire damper and supplies test data on the leakage. Temperature sensors are attached to it to record the temperature curve at up to 128 positions to an accuracy of one-tenth of a degree. In the control room, four separate monitors show the furnace controls for the test run and then the results. Two engineers observe the events in the chamber and input the test parameters. Then they give the go signal for the leakage test. One last check and then the countdown starts. Just before starting the burners, the furnace must be flushed with clean air to eliminate the danger of explosion. At 70 degrees, the fire damper automatically closes to form an airtight seal. 20 burners with a total output of 9 megawatts can simulate fires with very high energy release. After one hour of exposure to extreme conditions, only a little smoke could be seen outside, the desired result. Two refrigerated high-performance video cameras, which can be installed in six different camera apertures, record the test procedure simultaneously to the measured test data. The unique software synchronizes the test data and the camera images. Over 90 minutes of testing at up to 1000 degrees will show whether the damper does what it promises. The tension is obvious as the team follows the last seconds. End of test. The moment of truth. Test passed. Everyone relaxes. The furnace now has to be left to cool down for more than 12 hours before the test frame can be removed and the internal wall structure inspected.
The furnace is now cool. The team starts dismantling the test setup. The engineers inspect the wall structure and the fire damper from the inside for the first time. The wall is badly damaged. The intense heat has discolored and deformed the metal parts of the damper, but it has passed the test with a score of 100% and maintained its seal. In real life, it could have saved many lives. The International Center Fire Protection with its furnace is an important milestone on the long journey from the idea to marketing innovative products and greatly reduces the time required for development. Certified safety is the key to success. This philosophy has made Trox the market leader in fire protection for decades. Many practical solutions have been developed since the first certified fire damper in 1974 and there are many more to follow. This is the meaning of the Trox name. Trox for a climate of safety.